Welcome in everyone, how you guys doing? If you guys decide, hit that subscribe, like, share. Hope everyone is doing well and safe out there. And we're going to get straight into this reaction. Um, we're going to be doing today, Sabaton, No Bullets Fly. And reading up from the Sabaton website, um, we got here what they said. Um, Following a successful air raid on the German city of Bremen, Charlie Brown's American B-17 bomber, Ye Olde Pub, Ye old pub. <laughs> I like that name. I'm in the UK, so you know, the pubs. Um, su suffered severe damage. When German fighter ace Franz Stigler was ordered to shoot it down, he risked his life to escort the bomber to safety instead of attacking. Hmm. Yeah, them, them, them guys got balls of steel. I'm just here, just even going over it in my head. Like, all right, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're here for 20th, it. 1943. And in the freezing... Huh? It's December the 20th, 1943. And in the freezing air, high above Germany, Second Lieutenant Charles Charlie Brown is at the controls of his B-17F, the old pub. At 11.30, approaching the target of the Focke Wolf plant near Bremen, like the this. pub is rocked as four explosions go off right in front of the B-17. A cry comes across the intercom. We're hit. In the plexiglass nodes, a huge hole had been made. An icy Ooh. cold wind was being blown inside, making freezing conditions for the crew. Yo. Engine two had been hit and co-pilot... Like, I always thought that when I used to see these old planes, yeah? Especially with a glass front. I didn't, I didn't know back then if it was like a hard plastic or glass. But now it says it was broken. Like I used to be thinking like, yo, isn't that dangerous? Because you used to see them, you know, with the guns on the front of the plane shooting. I'm like, yo, if it went through the glass, like you had a couple of them, wouldn't it break that glass? Wouldn't it affect the um, plane when it's flying, you know, the air coming in, etc. So, yeah, these guys, these guys will have a different level of bravery. I'm not... I'll fight on the ground, fighting in the air. You don't have no control. Like. In freezing conditions for the crew. Engine two had been hit, and co-pilot Spencer Pinky Luke let out an expletive as he noticed a huge hole in the right wing. Releasing their bombs over the factory, the crew turned to the north, planning to head over the coast, then turn west for home. With one engine out and engine four now faulty, the pub started to fall back from the formation with another damaged plane. Sam Blackie Blackford in the ball turret watched as it disappeared into a cloud bank. There was an orange flash in the cloud. Bandits, Eggy shouted, as five BF 109s streaked from the cloud bank. Then another cry. Bandits, as eight FW 190s were yeah. spotted in formation ahead of the pub. Sergeant Bertram Frenchy Coulomb in the turret shot the 190 out of the sky. Yeah. The navigator, Al Doc Sadak, took out the second. Oh, Pinky man, reported that engine three had been hit. That left just one engine at full power. The BF 109s attacked the pub from behind, swarming all over. But due to the cold wind running through the pub, most of the guns were frozen. In a turn now, the pub was repeatedly hit, taking extreme damage and killing the tail gunner. Yeah. A shell penetrated and oh, exploded yeah. near the waste gun. Exactly saying the tail gunner. There was a gun in front and a gun behind. These were like moving machine guns these um, planes you know what I'm saying but yeah look you got the turret underneath yeah turret at the front and was there one at the back as well but yeah look the one underneath like <clears throat> man to be I'm claustrophobic you know so I don't think I could have been in a small space like that and I don't like heights too tough oh, I'm all right with planes but no I'm not all right with planes but being up there small space plane oh my <laughs> Injuring the crew and creating a huge oh, pull, 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 and killing the tail gunner. A shell penetrated and exploded near the waste gunners, injuring the crew and creating okay. a huge hole. The waste gunners the oxygen so three. supply was taken out and the pub spun towards the ground. With the crew unconscious due to lack of oxygen, oh, the B-17 fell for four miles. Charlie started to come around and grabbed the controls, pulling back as the plane continued to fall. 5,000 feet, 4,000 feet, 3,000 feet. Yeah. Just moments from hitting the earth, the plane pulled up, almost scraping the trees as it did. Yo, I had even... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
I'm saying a few prayers. Hail Marys, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo. Let's go. Bless that pilot, man. From down below, one enemy's pardon. So hurry up, rearm and refuel. But through the bombers, damners, they bring. See wounded men, scared to the bone. Look to the right, and then look again. I see the enemy in the eye. No bullets fly, it's man by his mercy. Escorted out, out of harm's way. pause here but that animation at the beginning giving that story that was beautiful it even pulls you into the song even more you know what i'm saying so i like that i really did like that i found that was great let's go Those as well too, yeah. Even telling the story though. <clears throat> Those planes were serious machines. Those were like the Toyota engines of today. Like no matter what you did, they kept going. They kept going through it. Didn't matter what happened, them engines kept running. I don't know if it was Rolls Royce engines or whatever they had back then, you know. But planes these days, man, they go through even quarter of that. But then I guess I guess the military planes are made to take that kind of damage but what th three out of four engines gone still able to pull it up holes everywhere like hey The story was kept secret until 1986, when Brown started the search for the like German this. pilot like who had shown mercy on that December day all yeah. those years ago. In 1990, Brown received a letter from a man named Stigler, who was living in Canada. Stigler explained that he had been the pilot of the German fighter who had oh, escorted shoot. the old pub. This video is of their first meeting. Franz, what were your feelings when you met oh, shit. again for the uh, first time? They met years later, you know. Yeah, God bless. God bless this man. God bless both of them. You know, they were fighting for their country, regardless of what you may think. 
may not agree with what they were fighting for, but there was orders given to them, you know what I'm saying? God, no, God bless him, look at this, raw. Wow, yeah, yeah. I was so happy to so I dropped him. Dropped him. What's the DJ? I love you, Charlie, man. The, the fact that he risked his life really in many ways, and I wrote him in a letter. I said, if you, uh, if you made a habit of feeling sorry for Palmer Cruz, flag up alongside them. I am sure that you were shot down many times, but it was a not only the audacity that he came up to us and uh, then recognizing the threat if someone had seen him and reported him, it could have been a death sentence. Franz gifted Charlie a book, and inside the inscription read, In 1940, I lost my only brother as a night fighter. On the 20th of December, four days before Christmas, I had the chance to save a B-17 from her destruction. A plane so badly damaged, it was a wonder that she was still flying. The pilot, Charlie Brown, is for me as precious as my brother was. Thanks, Charlie. Your brother, Franz. In 2008, within a few months of each other, the two firm friends went on their final journey. Franz Stigler never got the Knight's Cross, but as he always said, he got something better. Yeah, real talking, man. Oh my God. Hi, my name is Yurita Ten Stiegler. I would like to thank Sabaton and your song, No Bullets Fly. Oh, bless, Because of man. this, the story of my father will live on. See you on your next concert tour. Oh, bless. Safe journey, gentlemen. That's deep. And again, thank you. Oh, my you. goodness, yeah. Oh, seriously. Mm, as they did look. Yeah, that was, that was warming, heartwarming. <clears throat> Kind of like pulling out some strings here, you know what I mean? Oh, seriously, wow. That's even great to have the daughter of the actual person we're here talking about in the story get to listen to it from their son, mum, listen to the yell, come on now. And she to get, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm liking it. I, I like this one. I've not, I put this at the top of my Sabbath on this. It means a lot with this song here. But yeah, no, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys on the next reaction. Stay safe and take care.